Let's have a moment of silence for those who missed the quarterfinals last night. Okay, moment of silence over. Before I get into it, yes, guys, I got a new mic. So I should sound slightly better and have more freedom to yell, which is all that I care about. Anyways, I guess I was the only one who anticipated a result like this because Tuchel made it to back to back finals and three semifinals in like a three year time span with with Chelsea. With Chelsea. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and plus he's already admitted defeat after being like 16 points behind leverkusen so you better believe that the ucl is the only thing on his mind right now aside from the mbappe holland bellingham mid-off last night we got to talk about a different mid-off that occurred last night as well each time when i come here i am abused i'm gone i've liked it i've liked it i've liked it it's embarrassing. It's a disgrace. Sané has been kind of poor this whole season, but it was so, so satisfying watching him run down the pitch. And it was so obvious that poor old Kivior just could not hang with him. It was kind of like 2021 Alfonso Davies just gliding up and down the pitch like Nelson Semedo could not hang. Harry Kane is like Thanos, bro, the way he's inevitable. This man has more goals against Arsenal than Gabriel Jesus has for Arsenal. This was an amazing, this was an amazing back and forth match, but come on, guys. Let's not like, don't let the English media trick you into thinking Saka dangling out, dangling out his leg to bait a foul was more of a pen than Gabriel literally picking up the ball. Like, that was a pen right now. Fuck off, pussy all night. Anyways, um, check out my fraud watch video.